Enhanced WebAssign is an online digital platform that offers a wide variety of resources for students. This includes the end of section questions in an algorithmic assignable form, as well as additional questions to help students review the requisite skills that are needed for calculus. In addition, there are also visualization exercises called Explorates that help students visualize complex concepts. Lastly, students have access to a personalized study plan that helps the students strengthen their skills in areas where they may need further work, as well as an interactive ebook. Let's get started by taking a look at the ebook. The ebook matches what the students have in print form, including page numbers. Students can navigate using the table of contents or use the arrows that are listed down the side of the page. Students can highlight and take notes within the ebook using the notes field and the highlighter here at the top of the page. Students have a running list of all notes and highlights that are made throughout the ebook by opening up the relevant pane. As the instructor, you have the ability to annotate the text to add in further resources for your students. For instance, you can take notes and highlight on the page, and those annotations will show to your students. You also have the ability to add in links to outside websites, links to a YouTube video for a video that may illustrate the point being discussed on the page, you lastly have the ability to edit the text on the page. This allows you to edit text as well as delete text from the page. A text box will appear and you can type in your edits right into the box. The box will show directly on the page for your students. This ebook is printable and we can also make the size of the page larger. Let's next take a look at a demo assignment. Note that for each question, students will have relevant help buttons. These will take students to very pointed resources to help them solve the question. The Read It button will take the students to the relevant ebook section. The Watch It will open a lecture video. There is also sound. I'm going to turn up my computer speakers. And lastly, the chat about it will take students to NetTutor. NetTutor is an online tutoring service with which we have a partnership. Notice that any of the data points that are in red is data that is algorithmically generated. This means that this data will be different from student to student as well as from attempt to attempt if you do allow students to attempt the question more than once. Here is an example of an end of section question. You can see this is from chapter six, section one, and it's problem 51. Next, we have a diagnostic question. This is designed to assess the student's skills that they need coming into the calculus course. So this is a review of analytic geometry. Next, we have a quick prep activity. This is another review of the requisite skills that students should be coming into calculus with. Know that they have a link to a relevant section to read more about this specific topic. The just-in-time questions that we have here are similar. Again, these are questions that are designed to get the students prepped, again, with those skills that are being discussed in this specific section of the textbook. This next question is a mastery question. Note that the students have the Master It button. This will open a tutorial that breaks down the question step by step. This ensures that students understand what they need to do each step to solve the question and understand why they're going about those specific functions in each part. Next, we have a tools for enriching calculus question. This is a visualization question that helps the students visualize the calculus at hand. Students can open up their instructions and then view the simulation. So here they're estimating areas under a curve. We can change the data points and notice how the simulation changes. After the student works with the simulation, they're asked questions based off of what they see. 
So this helps the students interact with the simulation and then also analyze what's going on as they change the different data points. And lastly, on this demo exercise, students have an activity that's called Explore It. Similar to Tools for Enriching Calculus, this is also an activity that's designed to help students visualize these core calculus concepts. So to begin, the Explore It will begin with information about the concept. So here we're learning about the DISC method um, to find the volume of a solid. The student can then open an example video. How will you find the amount of wine that can be stored inside this cask? First, we need to measure the dimensions of the wine cask. After the student watches the video, then they can move on to the Explore and Test. This is an interactive module where the student can actually move the animation around. Similar to the tools for enriching calculus, this allows students to manipulate the data points and then analyze what happens as they make changes to those data points. Students are given guidance running down the side of the page. Lastly, within the Explorer, students have the When Would I Use This to give them examples of where they might use this calculus concept in their future careers or everyday life. Lastly, after the student has worked through all aspects of the Explore It module, the student will answer these questions. All work within Enhanced WebAssign is automatically graded, so students get instant feedback as they're working through the assignment. Scores for all activities are tracked for you as the instructor within the Enhanced WebAssign gradebook, and you also have access to analytic tools called Class Insights, which allows you to easily pinpoint specific topics where your students are performing very strongly or areas where they may need further instruction. You can also take a look at this data at the individual student level to pinpoint areas where specific students are doing well or areas where they may need further work.